Hey guys, welcome back to Ados the Great Gaming. Please help the channel by subscribing to the channel and helping the growth of this one by liking the video. Now, please enjoy this video. So in this one we've got the season open at Melbourne Storm versus the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Alright, so obviously there's a bit of bias in this one. However, if I wasn't a Rabbitohs fan, I'd probably quite easily tip Melbourne. The Rabbitohs have only defeated Melbourne five times since Melbourne entered the competition back in 1998. They've never won in Melbourne, losing all nine games they've played there. While I'd love for this not to continue, I think Storm will be very, diff very tough to defeat once again at their home stadium. However, as a die-hard Bunnies fan, they will still get my tip. For the season opener, I'm going Rabbitohs in a close one, probably by two points. All right, for game number two, we have Knights versus the Bulldogs. Canterbury have recruited really well this season. We'll get to see a new look Bulldog side with Corey Allen, Kyle Flanagan, and Nick Kotrick all making their de debuts against the Knights. Newcastle have also added Tyson Frizzell to what appears to be an already strong forward pack. This one should make for a very interesting matchup. I do, however, feel Newcastle will get the win in this game. However, I think it'll be a fairly close one. I'll be tipping Newcastle by four points. Alright guys, for, so for game three this weekend, we've got Broncos versus Parramatta. In Haas, will miss the first few games of the season, and that will really hurt the Broncos. Adding John Asiata was a good move for the Broncos, and with, new, and with a new coach, I definitely think we will see, start seeing some improvement from them, but I don't see the start of the season being a good one. Parramatta will keep a very similar team to what they had last year with only a few changes to the side. I think we will see a fair bit of dominance from Parramatta in this one, as they seem to be the better looking squad. So for the second game on Friday night, I'll be tipping Parramatta by at least 10. Sorry Broncos fans. Okay, so game 4, we have the Warriors versus the Titans. In my opinion, this could be arguably, arguably the most entertaining matchup this weekend. A lot of fans have both these sides sneaking into their top 8 in the 2021 season, and I don't disagree. Both of these teams recruited incredibly well and look like completely new teams in 2021. I'm going to be tipping the Titans in a close one with this game. Don't be surprised if the Warriors do get up though, but I've got the Titans by one. For game five this weekend, we have the Roosters versus the Sea Eagles. While the Roosters have been named heavy favourites, I don't think it'll be as big of a margin as a lot of people think. I do think the Sea Eagles will come out and play some pretty tough footy. However, I do agree that the Roosters will be too good in this one. I hate to say it, but I'll be tipping the Roosters by four points. Alright, we've got game six guys. Panthers versus the Cowboys. Penrith will want to make their mark on the competition early and prove the doubters wrong. I do think that they'll be up there in the top four at the end of 2021. Cowboys will also have a point to prove in 2021 Starting the season with no notable injuries, so they have a full strength side which means there should be no excuses. That being said, I do see Penrith being so much more dominant in this game and see them taking this one by at least 8 points. Alright, so we've got the second last game of the round here, Raiders vs Tigers. Let's start with the Tigers. So many people have them as the Spooners in 2021. Losing Benji Marshall is massive for the Tigers. Same can be said about Harry Grant. Obviously bringing in James Tarmow will add some much needed experience, but I just don't see them improving much more than last season. For the Raiders, their depth is insane and their round one lineup proves and their round one lineup proves that. Bit of a shock that uh, Havili has been named over Starling. However, Havili is able to play multiple positions, so it's quite smart on their part, I guess. I do believe this game will be very one-sided, and I've got the Raiders by at least 14 points. Finally, guys, we have the last game of the round, Dragons versus the Sharks. I'll be honest, I'm actually quite excited for this game. 
I think it'll be quite entertaining. St. George are a team that a lot of people are expecting to win the wooden spoon this year and I tend to agree with them. Tell you what though, I really like the Dragons young winger Cody Ramsey. I feel like he is underrated. We also see Jack Bird back in a Dragons jersey. Exciting stuff. I do want to see what the Dragons can do. I think they will continue to struggle in 2021. Pranella for me will finish around 9th to 12th this season and I don't feel like there, will, there has been much improved on their 2021, uh, sorry their 2020 squad. They look fairly flat in 2021 and I definitely think playoffs is off the cards for them. While I do think they will finish uh, higher than St George, I do believe this clash will be closer than people expect. I do have Cronulla winning this one, but not by much more than four points. All right, guys, that will pretty much wrap up this video. I hope you did enjoy this one. Leave your tips in the comments below. Please do give this a like as it helps the growth of the channel. I'd like to apologize as I do have a pretty bad cough, so the quality might not be as good as usual. Thank you all once again, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.